This is a video response for Bowman53. He asked for a 1950s showcase. If you're not familiar with this channel, definitely go check it out and subscribe. He puts out really cool content that you don't have to be a vintage fan to appreciate. Uh, most of his videos are for a Bowman set. It's kind of eluding me. I can't remember what year it was. Is it 52? 54. Yeah, 54, I think. Now, that doesn't sound right. I can't remember. Go check out Bowman53's channel so you can solve that conundrum there. Um, personally, I don't have a ton of vintage. I appreciate vintage. I like to watch people show vintage cards and talk about them. Um, it's something I want to change. I definitely want to pick up more vintage stuff. You know, generally, it's a little bit more expensive to get the cards in good condition. Um, but it's something really cool to see and have these little pieces of the history of the game. Um, so definitely go check out his channel. You will not be disappointed. As far as my collection of 1950s cards, I looked through and I have two. I thought I had more, but I guess um, a few were from the 60s that for some reason I, in my mind I thought were from the 50s. Anyway, um, there are two White Sox cards. This is the pennant winning year, 1959 for the White Sox. Louis Aparicio and Nelly Fox. Just think that's a really cool card. Uh, it's my only BVG card. Uh, I bought this when I just kind of started learning about vintage a while back. Everything else has been PSA so far. Um, this one just kind of struck me. It just looks really cool. And this was, as mentioned, the year that the Sox won the pennant. Two Hall of Famer. Two Hall of Famers from the White Sox. Two guys um, for which the White Sox have retired the number of. And on that note, 1951 Bowman. It's the oldest card I have. I got this for super cheap. It's a 7. I think I got this card for like $30, which is incredible. 1951 Bowman, Billy Pierce. Um, he is not a Hall of Famer. He had an excellent career. He started an all-star game. Put up really good numbers, um, just not quite to the threshold to get into the Hall of Fame, but his number was retired by the White Sox, and this is his rookie card. So I picked that up. I've talked about that in other videos. I want to get the rookie card for every player whose number's been retired by the White Sox. Uh, I also bought a raw version of Nelly Fox's 51 Bowman, his rookie card, and I lost it. I got I got it for like 20 bucks. It was probably like a 2 or a 3, PSA 2 or 3. If I uh, would have had it graded, but I moved and I lost it, and I'm really upset. I mean, Nelly Fox is a Hall of Famer, and it's his rookie card, so that would have been cool to have. So anyway, keep up the good work, Bowman53. I'll keep watching your videos. Again, if you're not familiar with him, definitely click the link below and check out his channel. Take it easy.